Welcome to the Gasol Cast! I'm Chris. I'm Heather. And on this episode, we're going to show you a few of our very favorite villains. And why are we doing that, Heather? Well, we have really bad timing because we moved up our mystery villain box with Jetta Patrol, and we were going to do this before we opened the boxes. Yes, we were. So we're just recycling a topic that we were going to use before, but didn't because we moved the date forward for our mystery box and now we're doing it now. Beautiful explanation! So I know what you're thinking. Chris chose Thanos and Heather chose Pennywise. Well guess what? You're wrong! So who's gonna start, me or you? You know what they say, ladies first. Okay, go ahead. So here's my first one, Rhino! Isn't he awesome? He's so cool. You know, he came in one of the Marvel Mystery Boxes, the Marvel Collector Core Boxes. And I was so ecstatic when I opened that box to see this guy. But this guy is cool, and he has that rhino skin and the little horns, and he's dancing a little bit. I think the horns are cool. I do Did too. you notice that? He looks like a real, he has like real rhino features. Like he the does. eyes, the skin, mm -hmm. um, even like the little pads on his shoulder up there. Shoulder pads! They're not only for the 1980s. They're for rhinos. Do you know what I'm talking about, though? Remember when women wore those jackets with the big shoulder pads oh, yeah. in the 1980s? Oh, yeah. Did you ever wear those? No. What if I told you I did? I wouldn't be surprised. The reason why rhino is so important to me, I never really read any of the comic books, but back in the day, which was a really cool day, by the way. But there was a Spider-Man cartoon that I always talk about mm -hmm. and always tell you it was my favorite when I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. And I got all the action figures. But one of the action figures I never got was the Rhino. And I always wanted it. I always thought he was so cool. And look now. What's better than being age 11 and getting Rhino? Being 35! So the first one I'm going to show you is the governor from The Walking Dead. He is the bloody variant. I like his eye patch. I like this one. I do too. I like that it's like the bandage patch instead mm -hmm. of like the regular eye patch. Yeah. I uh, I like this one the most. This is like when he initially gets like stabbed in the eye and by Michonne and she like goes hardcore on him. Yeah. Um, which I think is awesome. And uh, I love the blood splatter like all over the place. I always think that's cool in these Walking Dead pops. But it always makes me think like how... Somebody is, they have to be sitting there with like a little brush and they're like, yeah, doing that at it. And they're like, 10 more dollars, 10 more dollars. He's one of my favorite villains from The Walking Dead because he was just so creepy. He had like his daughter who had turned into a walker locked up and like chained up and like he couldn't let go. Yeah. And it we like that was creepy, and like the fish tanks of heads was sort of creepy, and oh yeah, the fish tanks of head, mm -hmm. I forgot about that. And what's weird is he was sort of a charmer too. He was. So he's sort of like, hey, ladies, let's come he had to that, Woodbury, he had, and he had that southern accent that brought all the ladies in. And my next one is Magneto, isn't he awesome? He's so cool. I love this pop. He was my very first metallic, and I love him because I love the X Men cartoon. Wow. The X-Men cartoon was amazing. And uh, you know what his powers are? Uh, you know, I'm really not sure. If I had to guess by his name, he can draw things to him. Yes. Well, sort of, but he can control metal. That's his whole power. He can control metal. Oh, so it's, it's like strictly metal. metal. It's not just like he's a magnet to just random things. No, like, oh. yeah, no, no. So he's like a refrigerator at, to magnets. What? Magneto is definitely an iconic villain from the X-Men series. He is an awesome villain, a very strong villain, and I can't wait until they finally bring him into the MCU. Because that's happening, baby! It's going to be awesome when the X-Men finally enter. I don't know. They have a timeline. I think they have a timeline of the MCU movies to go into like 2070. My next one is a really cool character. There's only two of this character. And I am so excited to share with you my favorite variant of this one. It is Gus Fring. Dead. He's dead. He's dead. I love it. I love it. He's like Two-Face. He is very much like Two-Face. What was interesting uh, in that uh, TV show, 
Was his body partially blown, like, to bits, too? No, like, I think his it was face, just, it was his, just face. his face. Yeah, and if I recall correctly, it's been a while since I've watched it, but if I remember correctly, it, like, sort of slid down a bit. Uh, but I, okay. I might be wrong about that. I might be wrong. I just thought it was interesting in that show that it was a hyper-realistic show, mm -hmm. and then the explosion goes off, and then he comes walking out with half a face and falls on the ground. It seems yeah. something, like, very, like, horror- or like sci-fi or something. Absolutely. I, I would be curious if something like that could actually happen in real life. Like where you're able to walk once something so traumatic has happened and then you go and Well, people are, are in shock and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, once something bad happens to you, your body goes in shock and you're able to do things probably that you never thought you could do. So Gus Spring really may not have been in a horror movie. It may have actually fit in with Breaking Bad, the real life sort of TV show. So Breaking Bad is one of my all-time favorite shows, probably top five. Um, and he was just such a good villain because he was always very calm and very... He wasn't scary, he was very just reserved. He was very calculating. Yes. If you haven't watched Breaking Bad, you probably should. We're gonna be those cool people that tell you to go watch it. Yes. You should watch it right away. It is such a good show. He... What are you doing with your life? You should be watching that right now. He used it's to get... on Netflix and you should go watch it. I don't know what you're doing. He used to get really You better hurry annoyed. up and run over there okay. and watch it on Netflix. That's enough. I want to see how many times you're going to try to talk where I can cut you off and tell them to go watch it. He is you should totally go on Netflix and watch I it right now. I am going to throw you through the ceiling. He used to all, the, all the seasons. All the seasons are on Netflix. You can watch them all. You should watch the show. What are you? Why are you missing out on this? Didn't the show go off in 2013? I don't know. Stop watching the Gasol Cast. Go watch Breaking Bad. <laughs> And last but not least, for me, I think I've shown this guy off before. You have. I have two variations of this character from the Winter Soldier movie. It's the Winter Soldier! He's uh, definitely my favorite villain of the MCU, besides Thanos. Obviously, Thanos is number one for me. Um, but I love the Winter Soldier. Of course, you know, back when he was a bad guy, now he's sort of a good guy. He had to change sides, Heather. He did. It was all a part of the story. Have you ever seen Civil War? Yeah. Did you ever see Winter Soldier? Times. Yeah, probably at least five times. Did you ever see Captain America, the first Avenger? Yeah, probably about five Did times. Did you ever see Indiana Jones? Enough! No, I'm just asking if you've seen any of these movies. He's not even in Indiana Jones. No, it's, that has nothing to do with him. Now I'm just asking if you've seen... Have you ever seen Little Shop of Horrors? Or I saw the with, movie and the play. With Rick Moranis. I've seen, I've seen the play too. When did you see the play? Uh, I don't know. I was probably like seven. You're, are you serious? Yeah. I was like, I was like 14. We probably saw it at the same we time. We probably saw it at the same time. Wouldn't it be crazy? That would be. Our first date was to see Little Shop of Horrors, where I was a teenager and you were a small child. <laughs> Winter Soldier is definitely one of the best characters in the MCU. Uh, the Winter Soldier movie was awesome because you didn't really, you did, you knew it was Bucky. I mean, like they kind of showed you in the trailers, but when you went to see it in a the theater, you just took all that away and you're like, that's not, that, that's not my boy Bucky. There's no way that's Bucky. And then guess what? It was Bucky. Mm. It was totally Bucky. But mm. Bucky Barnes is awesome. The Winter Soldier is awesome. And uh, you should run out and see those movies. They're also on Netflix. You should go watch them. They're on Netflix as well. Are they Isn't really? that crazy? Yeah, they are. Last but not least for me, I am not sure. I'm not sure. I'm still unsure if you should consider this a villain. But I think it's a really cool character. A really cool pop of the character. Um, Wait a minute. What? You mean to tell me you chose a character that you don't even know if it's a villain? It 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 is, but it, it's it's hard to say. All right, now show the character and explain yourself. Okay. Because this is foolish. How could you even make this your number one? The last one you chose, you're like your number because one. Because it's like the coolest pop out of the other two pops. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Okay, it is Professor Snape as the Boggart, or the Boggart as Professor Snape and Grandma. So. This. What did you say? Grandma? Yeah, so in Prisoner of Azkaban, okay, they're sitting in Lupin's class and Lupin is teaching the kids about a boggart. And basically what a boggart is, is a shape-shifting creature. And what it does is it transforms itself into 
whoever it is facing's fears. So when Neville was faced with the Boggart, it turned into Professor Snape and also half turned into his grandmother. So it's Snape wearing his grandmother's clothes because it's scary to Neville Longbottom. <laughs> Did you just explain who this guy is? Can you, if you did, can you repeat it? Did you really just miss it? Got a little thirsty. So I think the Boggart is a really cool creature. Apparently, some of them were very dangerous. I guess it just depends on where they're at and who they are really they're they're not really human i don't think that a boggart is actually alive and the weirdest part about it is that nobody knows what a boggart looks like when it is behind closed doors does that make sense because when you see it it transforms itself into one of your fears yeah how would i even understand what this is you don't even understand what it is you're saying that this thing there's a creature on this thing, mm -hmm. on this person. In it. It's a creature in it. It is But a you creature. never see the creature. You just no. know that it's called a bogger. But yes. you never see it. It transforms itself into other things. Is it a parasite? No. Oh, it's... so you're saying this isn't even Snape. Right. So... It's a creature, but it's, it's not really a creature. It's sort of like a ghost, maybe? I love in your explanation the word maybe comes up with a question mark on the well, end. Well, that's, that's the problem. It's a very confusing creature, which is why I was unsure if I should make it a villain. But apparently, when they take f form of something, they can actually sort of have the powers that what they of what they transform into. Okay, so like, they're like a chameleon. Sort of. But it's not taking over, it's becoming it, almost. So, like, for example, in the movie... And the books, Harry, Harry's Boggart is a Dementor, and a Dementor sucks all of the happiness out of you. So when the Boggart was a Dementor, it was a less powerful version of a Dementor. Like, it made him somewhat unhappy, like, but it didn't have the full effects of an actual Dementor. I feel like a victim of a traumatic brain injury. <laughs> Me too. They're very confusing, but I, th I think it's a very cool villain. Well, he's cool. <laughs> Great selection. You have anything else we can't explain? <laughs> <laughs> what is your very favorite villain out of all the villains we showed you right here? And what is your very favorite villain Funko Pop that you own? We would love to know. Guys, remember to go over to our Instagram at GasoCast. Check us out over there. Remember to like, comment, share this video, and subscribe right here to the GasoCast. Check us out. Look at our other fun content. We think you'll love it. All right, guys. Remember, we hunt together. We'll catch you next time. Bye. We hope that you enjoyed this episode of the GasoCast. If so, please hit that subscribe button and check out some of our other fun content. We've left you some links to some of our other videos that we thought you might like. We'll catch you next time. Bye.